good morning friends welcome to go online trainings.com so we have discussed lot of points yesterday in demo number 1 and today will be the demo number 2 and tomorrow we will have uh, last demo and uh, that is the final one clear so day after tomorrow we are going to be starting uh, the classes all the classes videos are recorded and all videos are going to be shared with you so that if you miss one class you should not be worried about it you will be able to get all the classes one by one so that you will be able to have the <clears throat> videos with you for 6 months validity you will be able to easily understand easily you can practice it okay so that is what is the point so to get into data analytics what is the eligibility eligibility only graduation any year passed out and you need not know anything if you know 2 plus 2 equals to 4 you can learn data analytics but data analytics and data science both of them are very very important you know software courses nowadays many people are uh, un, you know learning these so lot of hard skills are available we have aw with aws with devops we have azure we have data analytics we have data science right we have a uh, lot of other skills are available but you are not going to learn single skill here we are going to be teaching multiple skills what are the skills that you are going to be learning i have clearly discussed in the yesterday's video please watch that video people who are new you have to fill this form and this form already have sent it in the chat window but anyhow i am going to be giving once again in the chat window you have to fill this form guys and whatever be the reason if you are not able to fill this form now this form will have only three fields email address and full name with surname according to aadhar card or the passport mobile number this mobile number should be attached to whatsapp click on subscribe that's it this data when you give you will be able to get the discount fee by tomorrow so fees details and everything will be communicated to you uh, after tomorrow's demo clear otherwise so demos are completely free demo 1 demo 2 demo 3 will be there so you need to give this data nothing else you will be able to get discounted fee when you give this data to us clear whatever be the reason if you are not able to fill the form now so you can also write me a mail saying that so bhaskarjogi@gmail.com or you can also call this numbers so you will be able to send me a mail i will be able to give the form once again okay so that is what so filling form is mandatory and this is go online operation said number you need to store it so whatever be the reason if you need any uh, information you can call these numbers or you can also get in touch with this numbers okay you can just call them ping them go online dot madhav so he is the operations head in go online trainings dot com so you will be able to reach them so via these numbers chal so now the first question why data analytics is very very hot skill in the market because as i told you it industry it industry means what i stands for information i stands for information information can be derived from data only clear if you have the data then only we can get the information so without data you will not be able to get any information without data it industry does not work tomorrow you may learn aws you may learn you know azure you may learn java dot net angular js android you may learn anything so you have to know about data how it industry is going to be storing data as we discussed already it industry is going to store the data in sql or we can say database management system or it is called as rdbms so without sql knowledge without rdbms knowledge you should not get into it i am telling you so you will be able to learn any course but you have to be strong in sql without that without that it will be very very problem so people will ask you lot of questions on in the interview using sql if you say sir i know basics of sql that is where you lost this opportunity sir i have read youtube uh, you know ko channels i have read you know ko, uh, my friend uh, taught me sql i have some udemy videos all these are basics 
I have I have studied in uh, my college, sir. So all these things are useless. You have to know, you know, in depth of SQL. So without that, especially data warehousing or any anything in SQL, uh, anything in IT industry deals with SQL and SQL. So data, if you want to store, then only you will get information. So Azure or AWS, end of the day, you're going to be dealing with the data, 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 data. So without data, data means you have to know these technologies. Anybody who wanted to come into IT industry, first, you have to understand what is I. I means information. How do you get the information? Using a data. How do you store data using a computer? So there is a language called SQL or there is a concept called a database management system or it is also called as a relational database management system. You have to know about it. Okay. So yesterday already I spoke about it. I don't want to waste my time now. Now, so now definitely you have to know about data. Now the question is that one journalist asked Microsoft, what do you mean by data? So Microsoft says data is a currency today. What Microsoft says data is a currency today because you understand WhatsApp is not selling anything to you directly. WhatsApp is not selling anything to you directly, Instagram, Facebook, but how come they are very, very rich in this world? Amazon is selling some products. They could be rich, right? Microsoft is selling some softwares. They could be rich. Now tell me, how come WhatsApp is not selling anything? Instagram is not selling anything. Twitter is not selling anything. How come they are very, very rich? Because they have your data. Because they have your data. With your data, they can do you know, billions of business. So according to Microsoft, Currency is your data. Currency is not a currency today. If you have a 2000 rupees note or if you have some thousand dollars, that is not, you know, currency. Currency itself is a data today. Clear? So according to. So according to Microsoft, but according to Google, what do you mean by data? Data is everything today. Whatever you think of. Data is everything today. We are thinking about you know, artificial intelligence. We are talk, talking about machine learning. We are thinking about you know, driverless cars, right? We are talking about a lot of things we are talking about today. Everything is a data, data, data. Without data, nothing is going to be happening. Without data, nothing is going to be happening. You may have a small amount of data. For example, in my family, we have uh, expenses data, salaries data, birthday data. We have some data. If you think about a company called Amazon.com, they have their retail data, sales data. Think about banking, they will have a banking data. Think about social media, they will have social media data. So every company will have a lot of data, but the question is, the, but the question is, what is the size of the data that you have it, right? You may have a small amount of data. For example, I am talking about my company. What is the, you know, uh, sales or what is the inquiries that we are going to be getting every month? Every month, we get only 1,000 to 2,000 inquiries. My data is in megabytes. Very, very small amount of data that I'm going to be having every month we get 2 MB of data, 5 MBs of data, but where are we store, where are we going to store all this data? All the data is going to be stored in Excel. I'm maintaining Excel file. I'm going to be storing all the data into Excel and I also process the data. Why are we storing data? Because I wanted to process the data. For example, I wanted to tell you whenever you call me, sir, I wanted to join your Java classes, your Power BI classes. I wanted to enroll myself. So I will ask you, give me your phone number, give me your uh, <clears throat> uh, email address, give me your you know oh, details. That is what I say. Now I am going to be storing all the data in an Excel sheet. Now you can see this sheet, right? Serial number I will maintain in the first column and the name of the student, right? So John, Peter, Mohammed and Anushka and which course they wanted to enroll MSBA, Power BA, SQL, Java, Azure, 
AWS, whatever be the course that they wanted to have it, gender, male, female, and date of inquiry. So I can have like that, and their phone numbers, their email IDs, and the fees they paid. So they may be paying hundred dollars or rupees, whatever it is, and paid it. These people have inquired, but no payment made. That means they are not interested. I have the data coming from every month by month every month by month so all the data i am storing where all the data i am storing in excel sheet why because small amount of data but after creating after getting the data so what is that my management wanted to ask my management wanted to ask a report so we create a summary we create a summary what is the summary in the summary in power bi course in january in 2021 how many inquiries you got it ms bi course how many inquiries you got it sql how many inquiries you got python devops aws like that lot of you know month wise course wise i am able to manually do the counts i go here i i apply a simple a, a filter you, you know sql right you go you will be able to simply go and say how many people for sql i simply go i can 1 2 3 4 5 6 i will count like that i will come i will write for number some number so there are 56 people like that manually people are going to process this data manually so like that how many people have paid for msbi like that one more summary report fee collected so january month what is the fee collected msbi january what is the fee collected so like that i create lot of summary reports manually clear so this is what is called processing this is what is called data so why are we storing the data because you wanted to understand some information that manually you process you create clear so now you compare you one course from one month to one more month one month january month i got 1235 inquiries next month i got 2005 inquiries there is a growth clear so what is a data analytics data analytics means understanding the past or reporting the past now i am in 2022 i am analyzing 2021 data now i am understanding past data i'll compare there is a good growth there is nice growth now there is a minus growth have you seen 3000 to 2500 the growth is completely bad why it is went down what is the reason so this is where the management of go online trainings.com will focus on because if you wanted to run a business you cannot simply idle you cannot you know if you don't do nothing you lose the business right so definitely you need to worry every month we are getting very good inquiries so why the inquiries are you know, the number of inquiries are you know we lost it so it is a neutral again reduced so why it is getting reduced whatever be the reason you know what is the reason reason faculty is not so good so everybody is saying don't join don't join this course or recession because everybody is saying they are they are worried about it so people are not people are worried and they are not joining so whatever be the reason that you have to identify right so recession go online trainings cannot control but whatever they can control so that is where for example people think that faculty is not so good in go online trainings that is the reason nobody is not joining nobody is inquiring so immediately go online trainings.com has to change the faculty has to change the faculty clear so by understanding your numbers this is the raw data raw data will not give you any information but you have to create a summary like that and after that you have to analyze now this is what is called a report this is what is called a report so sometimes these numbers are boring these numbers are boring instead of showing the data in this i will also create a beautiful visualizations i go i click on this visualization now in january the sales is this much february the sales is this much now tell me which one you can understand very very easily this graphical representation is always good so gra graphical representation of data is called as a visualization clear so now you are talking about you have data data you have stored we can create a simple report end of the day 
you have to create a summary in the summary you create a report report means display the data display the data in the table format so i create a table like this i create a table like this this is what is called a report but now people are going to be asking create a visualization clear you take some data you are going to be creating a visualization so how to create a visualization you can go to excel sheet you can simply go and you will be able to create a beautiful visualization people can understand what is report means render or display the data in the table format and visualization means okay visualization means what nana visualization means i am talking about a display or render the data rendering means displaying render the data in the chart and graphs clear you wanted to display the data not in a simple way you wanted to create a human understandable way this is what is called a visualization clear so excel is a beautiful reporting tool so many people will say power bi looks like excel only power bi looks like excel only excel is a beautiful reporting tool you can store the data and on top of that you can create a beautiful reports and on top of that when you go to insert you will be able to create a beautiful visualizations as well clear so i can create some you know i can collect the data i will be able to perform lot of operations okay so this is the data nobody wanted to see the data as it is everybody wanted to see the data in the processed manner so this summary is called as a report sometimes it will be called as a report or some companies will be calling as a mas reporting nowadays this is what is called as a dashboard dashboard means a summary dashboard dashboard means what summary and dashboard will not have purely data into the table format so they are going to be creating lot of visualizations i wanted to see the data like this i wanted to have beautiful visualizations so that is what we are going to be doing when you have the data convert the data into information this is the data so you have to store the data this data cannot tell you anything but this dashboard can tell you and which month the sales is high the which month the sales is good people can easily understand yeah my clear now i am talking about i am talking about data in the megabytes when the data is in the terabytes of data or data in let us say you will be able to get large amount of data think about uh, a company called amazon.com so how much of data per month they will be able to get so go go online trainings will be getting only 1000 you know entries per month now google.com amazon.com walmart i you know flipkart netflix how much of data per month they will be able to get they will be able to get large amount of data you know 50 million entries you know they will be able to have lakhs and millions of entries per month right 1 million is equal to 10 lakhs according to indian currency 1 million is equal to 10 lakhs right so when you have this much of a data so think about amazon company every every month they are able to get 100 gb of data 200 gb of data can i store that much of a data in excel sheet can i store somebody says i have 50 gb of data i am storing in excel sheet means people will laugh at you right so if you have so much of a data you are going to change the software or you are not going to be using excel so you have to change the software now what software we are going to be using to store large amount of data we are going to be using a software called sql software or it is also called as a database management software 
or it is called as relational database management system so this software we are going to be using only for storing data so you need to know when should i use excel when should i use sql sql means you have a gb sub data you are going to store so what are the sql softwares or rdbms softwares you have the popular software is called oracle software so oracle is a sql software it can store large amount of data microsoft sql server so they have taken name from here the same name they have given okay and they say sql server is also sql software rdbms software so it can also store large amount of data large amount of means what it can store gigabytes of data so like that we have a lot of companies are available so db2 so db2 from ibm company database 2000 clear and you have netiza this is also one more software tool developed by ibm company netiza all these are called as sql sql software rdbms software netiza db2 teradata and mysql mysql and we have post gray sql right so lot of tools are available around the world in the it industry where the companies are going to store large amount of data now you tell me what is a oracle oracle is a go down what is a skill server it is one more go down it is one more storeroom or go down where you are going to be storing large amount of data clear so oracle software you think as a storeroom or a go down or a tank so you have a tank what will you do you have a 5000 kappa liters of water tank you put the water you get the water i have a water how do you store the water you have to have a tank i have a blood how do you store the blood blood bank i have a gold how do you store the gold gold bank i have a data how do you store the data data bank data bank are called as database database means a data bank oracle is a data bank sql server is a data bank db2 is a data bank but different companies you have apollo hospital you have icic bank you have hdfc bank you have a city bank you have a Deutsche bank you have you know indian bank like that different banks the purpose is the same the companies are different right what is the purpose of oracle you can store unlimited data or you can say gbs of data what is the purpose of sql server same it is from microsoft right it is from oracle corporation what is the db2 it is also a software where you can store large amount of data so oracle is a database or a data bank sql server is microsoft data bank db2 is ibm's data bank and that is again ibm like that you can you can install oracle or sql server or db2 or netiza teradata anything you can install in your computer you should be able to store large amount of data that is what you need to understand clear what is oracle oracle is a go down what is the sql server it is one more companies go down what is db2 it is ibm companies go down what is netiza it is also one more go down so all these storerooms or tanks or go downs are there to store large amount of data using a computer so these are called softwares clear so these are called sql softwares sql software means all of them are called rdbms softwares are called as sql software oracle is also sql software microsoft taken the same name they have implemented as sql right so sql means everything people will be calling this as a sql or sql people will be calling this as a sql server or a sql server so oracle is a sql software sql server is a sql software db2 is a sql software that is what you have to know so this is what we can store the data but how to process the data because if you store data you will not be able to use it you have to process processing purpose we use a language so 
all the data is going to be stored in this format but who's going to be processing because end of the day i wanted to see the data like this so that i can understand clear so who's going to be processing here any language you can use so we can use c or we can use c plus plus right or we can go in for java or we can go in for sap or we can go in for android any language or angular js or a .NET, any language you can use where you will be able to process the data. Clear? So, processing means what? I have 10 plus 20. Now, what is the total? Total is 30. That is what is called processed. So, who is going to be processing? Somebody has to process, right? This is data, individual data. So, I need a processed data. I wanted to understand what is the average, what is the minimum, what is the maximum, what is the total. So, this is what is called processing, right? When you have a small amount of data, you can do manually. When you have billions of number, I wanted to know what is the total sales of Amazon.com last five years. Now, you tell me large amount of data the Amazon company has, you will not be able to manually calculate. Manually, you cannot process. You have to use a software. The software could be any of these languages. Clear? Now, okay. Now, you think every month the Amazon company is getting 200 GB data per month. That is fine. But think about the 12 months data. That is one year data. I'm talking about one year data will be 200 GB per month into 12 months. It is approximately 2.4 terabytes of data. The company wanted to use 10 years of data. So what is the total size? 24 terabytes. Clear? The Amazon company wanted to use this much of a data. Now you tell me, this much of a data can I store in simple SQL? The answer is no. You cannot store terabytes of data. So, the data size is in terabytes now. So, I am talking about millions and billions of data. So, that data I cannot store in the normal RDBMS. That is where I am going to be using one more system called data warehouse where data will be stored. Clear? So, when you have terabytes of data, because last 20 years of Amazon data, they have to maintain, they cannot delete the data, right? So, if they wanted to maintain you know, year on year data, they have to maintain lot of data warehouse systems. These systems are available in the data centers, clear? And to process this much of a data, I cannot use a language like C, C++, Java, .NET. You have to write so much of a code. So, in this case, people have implemented BI tools. Business intelligence tools have been implemented to process the data. Clear? So, now, when you have a small amount of data, you can store in Excel sheet. When you have more amount of data, you can use SQL softwares. When you have more and more data, you can use data in the data warehouse. You should not write data uh, where space house. It is wrong spelling. Warehouse is a single word. You cannot write like this also. Data warehouse. It is also wrong. Or data warehouse is also wrong. Or data warehouse. This is also wrong. So you need to say warehouse is a single word. Data space warehouse. Clear? So this is how you have to write. Warehouse means go down. Warehouse means go down. Now how you create a data warehouse? That is the question. Now, how a data warehousing machines are going to be created? You need to buy bigger hardware. Big hardware you need to buy. And in that what software you have to install SQL software or you have to install any RDBMS software. Let me give you an example. I have my laptop. What is my laptop configuration? I will show, show you. My laptop is having approximately 1 terabyte of hard disk. I will show you my laptop configuration. Okay. My laptop is having 8 GB of RAM and i5 processor and Windows 11 Pro have installed it and it is in i5 processor. Now 8 GB of RAM and 1 terabyte of hard disk. In my machine, I have installed SQL Server software. Now, 
what is capacity i have one terabyte of hard disk if i install sql server sql server or oracle if i install what is the maximum data i can you know have only one terabyte why because hard disk size is one terabyte if i install oracle or sql server or a db to any software here maximum data i can store one terabyte only but if i if i buy a bigger hardware where the hardware capacity is 1100 processors they have not only single processor plus in this the hard disk capacity is let us say 400 terabyte of hard disk now you have ram is let us say 200 gb of ram very big big computer in this computer what i am doing i am installing same software same software so oracle software netiza tera data one software if i am installing this is what is called a data warehouse machine clear so you have a oracle then oracle data warehousing machine you have a sql server sql server data warehousing machine you have a netiza netiza data warehousing machine so data warehousing means you need to have a bigger hardware and in that same software is going to run same software is going to run so that it is going to be storing terabytes of data so the data warehouse it is nothing but what it is a bigger hardware now you have a bucket you have a drum now tell me what is the difference between bucket and drum both of them are made up of a plastic but bucket is going to be having 30 liters of water your drum or a tank is going to be maintaining 1000 liters of water so both of them are plastic if both of them are plastic why can't we why can't we call this as a same it is not depends upon the material you used to manufacture the item end of the day what is the size of the water it is going to be storing clear bucket is going to be storing 30 liter of water and drum or the tank or is going to be storing 5000 liters of water so it is the capacity the size where the difference comes clear both of them are going to be having rdbms but in my laptop i can store only 1 terabyte my laptop is not a you know data warehousing server why because i can store maximum 1 terabyte of data but data warehouse means you can store 50 terabyte 100 terabytes of data my laptop is going to be failing i cannot buy you know 100 laptops and 100 you know times i cannot install sql server and 100 machines i cannot store 100 terabytes of data that is not the thing clear so all this data warehouses are available where in the data centers clear okay if we have terabytes of data that is fine but when you have when you have more data because the data is nowadays is in petabyte or zettabyte it is yottabyte yolabyte clear this kind of a data is called as a big data or called as a unlimited data so petabyte of data zettabyte of data yottabyte of data yolabyte of data so this kind of a data is called as a big data now even data warehouse is not going to be storing data so in that case how do you store the data we have a separate software called hadoop where you are going to be storing the data and in this hadoop only we are going to be processing the data it is just like you know one tool both of them can be done both of them can be done however excel is one tool everything we can do in sheet by sheet right like that hadoop is a software where you can store unlimited data you can process unlimited data clear so now i will give you simple example you can understand very very easily i wanted to go to a bazaar or a market to buy some vegetables so it will be some 3 to 4 miles from my you know house from my home so how do i go either i can take a cycle and go or i can take a bike and go if you have a small distance to cover you go by a bike you take a bag and you and your wife or you and your mother will you know take a bike or a cycle and you know joyfully you can just go to the bazaar or the market you can buy vegetables right so when you have a small amount of distance you use bike 
but i wanted to go 500 miles can i take a bicycle and go i wanted to go 500 kilometers 500 miles 1000 kilometers can i take a bike and go yes you can take a bike and go but you will go mad you will get back pain so you are using the wrong tool you can go you can take a bike many people will say i am using indian complete you know europe you know yatra or europe i am going to be covering using a bike that is also fine but they will have lot of hurdles and lot of you know issues because they are not using proper tools so if you wanted to cover 500 kilometers or miles you have to take a bike not bike you have to take a car or a train or a bus so we are changing the tool small data we use excel more data we use sql and rdbms right so however you are going to take 500 mi miles journey you are going to be using a car or bus or a train you wanted to go to us or africa from india can you go by a car can you go by a train no 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 we are going to be using a flight when you wanted to use some more a distance we are going to be using a flight okay i wanted to go to moon can i go by a flight i wanted to go to mars i wanted to go to moon can i go by a flight you have to use a rocket clear so depends upon the distance small data excel so GBs of data, SQL, more data, data warehousing flights, something like that. Hadoop is just like a rocket. So you can store, we can cover unlimited distance. A flight cannot be taken. So depends upon the usage, we are going to be using the softwares. Clear? Using the tools. You cannot say, you know, I, I will be using, because Hadoop is the latest technology, I am going to be using Hadoop everywhere. So, cycle is not replacement for a bike, or car is not replacement for a bike, or flight is not replacement for a car, or rocket is not replacement for, you know, or your flight so data warehousing is not replacement you know for hadoop or hadoop is not replacement for data warehouse data warehouse is not replacement for simple this one so everything we have to use depends upon what kind of a usage clear so amazon company will use sql software amazon company will use big data uh, data data warehousing amazon company also can use hadoop so Bill Gates can use a car. It does not mean that Bill Gates always uses a rocket. It is completely useless talking. Bill Gates will also come by, you know, walk, cycle, bike, car, train, flight, rocket. So whatever you wanted to use depends upon the necessity and usability. Clear? So BI tools are there to work with normally data warehousing when you have a large amount of terabytes of data so this concept is implemented data warehousing concept is implemented in 1990s clear and hadoop concept is implemented hadoop means people are getting more amount of data in early 2000 and 2010 it became so popular and sql people have invented in 1970s clear end of the day the companies wanted to store the data so these are the softwares we have around the world in the it industry clear so now what are the ba tools we can have we can use a lot of ba tools like sap ba right to store this much of a data or we can use oracle ba we can use sas ba we can use MS BA, Microsoft BA. Now we have a Power BA, right? Lot of BA tools are available. When you have a large amount of data, so you can also use C, C++, Java, .NET to create a, uh, a lot of, you can process the data. But the problem is that you need to write a lot of coding. So all these tools are called, it can take large amount of data, no coding is required. That is the beautiness. 
clear that is the reason these languages are replaced with the tools tools means you need not have any pain you need not know any language simply you have to know one language called sql if you know rdbms concept if you know you can easily process the data then you can perform data analytics and everything now let me tell you what is sap ba oracle ba and versus ms ba and power ba so all these things you have to learn one by one so these are called business intelligence tools or data analytics tools as i told you already there are two types of applications in the world what are the applications we are uh, hearing nowadays we are talking about two things one is called data analytics data analytics is called as a business intelligence clear so data analytics is called as a business intelligence and business intelligence data analytics means reporting the past reporting the past so that means understanding the past so you are going to be understanding what was my sales last 5 years amazon company wanted to know what was the last quarter sales in india what was the sales in last diwali or last five diwalis in india completely understanding on the history clear so data analytics means business intelligence means understanding the past historical data you would like to understand but there is one more concept called data science right so what is a data science data science is also called as a artificial intelligence or it is also called as a data mining data mining earlier we were calling this as now this is framed as a data science now it was called as artificial intelligence it is also called as nowadays machine learning so what is the meaning of a data science so data analytics data science both are not same so data science means predict the future okay it is few you can prediction you can do the predictions you can understand the patterns and predictions data science is something different data analytics is something different but both applications needs what data where is the data so these applications can get the data from excel this can these companies can get the data from sql rdbms or these applications can get the data from the data warehouse or these applications can get the data from the hadoop systems clear somebody has to store the data on later only you will be able to perform data analytics or data science both of them are not equal so data science where you have to know about sql you have to know about etl you have to know about data warehousing you have to know about data uh, you have to know about python you need to learn python right so and you have to uh, artificial intelligence machine learning which is 18 months to 2 years course which is very very complicated you have to know stats very well and you have to know calculations very well and you have to know at least one month of python program using a python you will be able to create lot of things so the complexity here the complexity you have to know sql and everything plus this one so here if you wanted to learn you have to know sql you have to know data warehousing so tomorrow i'll speak about data warehousing in detail in tomorrow's demo and you have to know about etl tomorrow we'll talk about it etl and everything and you have to talk about uh, what is called as a ba tools so ms ba power ba this will be a 3 months course clear so this is very very easy anybody can learn this and we are also going to be covering cloud cloud means we are going to be using azure or aws anything you can use so here also people are going to be using data warehouse and everything and here also we can use cloud and everything right so what is the cloud and everything we'll discuss on later classes and cloud is also now you can learn so you should be able to store the data in different different uh, uh, stores one is called on premises and cloud we will talk about the cloud also later so all these things we will be learning 
and you will be able to you know get into it industry data analytics where you can get minimum when you have three to four years of knowledge or experience in this you will be able to get a minimum 10 to 15 lakhs of salary packages in india okay 10 lakhs to 15 lakhs but we are going to be learning not only single bi software we are learning multiple softwares that is what is the you know thing that you have to know many people what they do they learn only power bi then they complain sir i have learned power bi i did not get a job 100 percent you don't get a job right so it is a combinations that you have to learn sir i have learned azure will i get a job 100 percent you don't get a job sir i have learned aws sir i can i get a job you may get a job but you can go into the uh, companies and you will be there in the bench for a lo uh, long period because you don't know many other skills right learning one skill is always uh, dangerous right so you have to keep minimum three months of time and you will be able to learn all of them so that you can get into it industry now let me tell you what is this business intelligence tools and microsoft msba and this one so these are introduced early in 2000 okay so early in 2000 year they got introduced only one tool here and this tool is called complex and this tool is a purely reporting tool reporting tool means as i told you we can create this kind of a visualization so i can take this data i can create a beautiful visualization like that so more importance is given to you can create this kind of a visualizations where in this sap ba oracle ba you can get the data from data warehouse create and these are very very complex more than that these are very very costly so companies have to buy the licenses and they need to implement they cannot buy a, they cannot have pirated software illegal software you cannot run in the it companies so they have to buy but these are very very costly so it is a story a 20 years back business intelligence data analytics is not the new one today it, it came long back so msba microsoft introduced in year 2005 they said i'm going to be giving microsoft said i'm going to be giving three tools clear so msba means microsoft intelligence they are giving three tools one is called ssis ssas and ssrs tomorrow we will talk about these three tools one is the first tool is called etl tool so tomorrow we'll talk about what is etl this is what is called analysis tool We'll talk about this tomorrow very very important and this tool is called a reporting tool right so microsoft says so you go back you know the phone so when nokia company introduced a phone only phone but when apple iphone and samsung introduced not only phone camera weather controlling you can do lot of things so now it is only reporting tool and now it is a BA tool. It is also BA tool, but a BA tool with a lot of things you can do. Clear? So now your phone is not a phone. It is a camera also. Your phone is not a phone. It can do a lot of other things. Now, BA is not only reporting. Now, BA means a lot of other things it's going to be doing because of this. And this is inexpensive or Microsoft is started giving it for free or one third cost of the above application so i'm giving you more applications and free or one third of these applications and microsoft has a good brand because of that in year 2005 microsoft is completely acquired business intelligence means get the data analyze the data lot of things you can store with the help of this now in between what is happened after msba in year 2010 in between there is a company called tableau tableau released a tableau ba software so this is a reporting tool but the easy is that any non-technical people can create a report for example i can go to excel now you also can take some data for example you go you put some data for example january you put some ten thousand or thousand 
February, you put some, you know, 1200. Now you take this. Now you go to insert. Now you can create a report like this. Now you tell me to create a report, to create a visualization. Do you need any training? Any non-technical guy also can use Excel sheets, can create a beautiful report, right? Beautiful visualization. So Tableau BA, it is like that. So people are giving you data in Excel, SQL, or a data warehouse or Hadoop, you can take the data and any non-technical people can create a report. This is what is called self-service BA. So I wanted to prepare a Maggie noodle. So now to prepare a Maggie noodles food, do, do I need to know cooking very well? No, nothing, right? Anybody can prepare a Maggie noodle food. Now, anybody who does not know cooking, they will be able to prepare a food like that using a Tableau BA software. Any non-technical people can create a beautiful visualization reports. Now, SSRS is a reporting tool. Now, only technical people can create, not other people. So, here, Microsoft is facing a lot of, you know, uh, uh, disturbance and a lot of demand is now Mm, gone to Tableau BA software, Microsoft immediately. So this got released in 2010. In 2015, Microsoft released Power BA. So it is a released in 2015 by Microsoft and which is a self-service BA. So when the Power BA is released, automatically Power BA went up now. Power BA went up and Tableau BA came down because it is costly software. It is a costly software because of this power, you know, Tableau BA came down, Power BA gone up. Now Power BA is going to be completely, it is a self-service BA tool where you can create lot of reports. Now, lot of companies are, you know, instead of SSRS, so here, they are going to be replacing with Power BI. They are not using this software. Clear? So, if you wanted to use BI, now you have to use SSIS, SSAS from MS BI, and Power BI is replaced with SSRS. Or people can use both of them as a reporting tool. Now, this is what is the history and the story. Clear? So, that is what we are going to be learning we are going to be seeing so sql server we have to know clearly or oracle you have to know clearly it is a microsoft software so power bi is a microsoft software you have to learn sql server also clear so now let me give you sql server history what is sql server it is a go down or a store room where you can have the data so sql server is released 1.0 version when 1989 which is a purely sql software or you can say rdbms software so rdbms tool rdbms means you can store the data you can retrieve the data it is a database a data bank so in bank what you do you deposit the cash withdraw the cash deposit the cash withdraw the cash what you do in SQL, you deposit the data, withdraw the data, put the data, get the data, put the data, get the data. So SQL Server Oracle only data repositories or data banks or databases. So 1.0 version, then 3.0, then 5.0, then 7.0. So this is when I entered into IT industry. So 7.0 released in 1999. So then they released SQL Server 2000. So SQL Server 2000 got released in year 2000. So completely RDBMS software. The next software. So SQL Server 2005 got released. So when it is got released, you know, is it 2005 in this? They have added not only this plus in this only, they have added MSBA, that means SSIS, SSAS, 
SSRS got uh, added. So SQL Server software is not only RDBMS software, but also BI software. Clear? SS stands for SQL Server. SQL Server Integration Services, which is ETL software. What is ETL? We'll discuss in tomorrow's class. It is ETL software. The next one is called SSAS. SQL Server Analysis Services. What is analysis? We will talk in the tomorrow's class. Right. So the next one is called it is analysis uh, software. SSRS is SQL Server Reporting Software. So Microsoft MSBA is released along with this software only. Now, now you can see lot of versions have been released. The next version is 2008. Next one 2008 R2. R2 means release 2. It got released in 2010. Then SQL Server 2012. Then 2014. Okay. So these many versions. Then 2016. Then 2017. The current version is 2019. So this software we are going to be installing. When you install 2019, you will get SQL RDBMS software plus all these things will be installed automatically. We are going to be learning SSIS and SSAS. We are not going to learn this. Instead of that, we are going to be learning what Power BI. Am I clear? So what is the version of SQL Server we are going to be installing? SQL Server 2019. It is SQL software. SQL means what? Data storing, data retrieving. Plus this is a BI software. So BI means three tools are going to come automatically. We will be able to install this software. I can give it to you on the day after tomorrow. I will show you how to install. Am I clear? So what is the hardware requirement you need to have? What is the software in your laptop? Laptop is compulsory. So hardware means any processor you can have. i3, i4, AMD processor. Minimum 4 GB of RAM is required. Clear? And minimum some you know, 500 GB hard disk is required. Clear? And if you have uh, 128 GB of SSD. So if it is there, it, is, it will be faster. But this is not mandatory. You can make it optional. So this is what is called laptop configuration. Without a laptop or a, you know, a computer, you will not be able to attend these classes. You have to arrange within one week to ten days of time. I will give you this software. So this is a hardware configuration. And what softwares you have to install. So I will be... Uh, uh, closing this within two minutes sorry for delay and software means windows 10 or 11 home or professional so this is what you need to have and if you have windows 11 it is good but if you have windows 10 you can also upgrade otherwise you can have windows 10 or windows 11 windows 7 will not work so the software i'm going to be giving you this software we will install Day after tomorrow, I will show you how to install. So I will give you the software. Then we are going to be installing Power BI desktop software. That is also we will install. And you need to install PDF and WinZip and everything. Or WinZip for zipping purpose, WinRare. So and MS Office is compulsory. MS Office 2007 or any later versions you need to have. So this is a software. So I can give you all these things. Don't worry about it. This you can download from the net and install it. This one also you can get it from net or friends. You can go to any hardware shop. You can install it. So this is what we are going to be installing. Day after tomorrow, I will show you how to install it. Clear? So this is what is the BI. So what is a cloud? For the cloud, what is that we need to install? We are going to be dealing with Azure, not AWS. Because AWS is from the non-Microsoft. Right? What is the cloud also we'll discuss? Now, how to interact with the cloud and everything we'll discuss. Because, you know, you cannot take one day all things, right? So, slow 
slowly we'll go one by one one by one so this is a three months course so later if you wanted to jump into data science you can jump but data science is very very complicated don't directly jump into data science because one youtuber is telling it is a sexy skill hot skill into the market so anybody can go into data science it is completely wrong so data science is created using two words one word is called data mining and computer science clear so people have taken data from here people have taken data from here people have taken science from here it is a new skill is created data science actually data mining so data mining data computer science science so data science is created using these two words data science means predictions in our example jyoti shastram clear so it can predict the data so i want to understand obesity in india then i would like to predict because of obesity i wanted to predict how many people may die next five years in india the government of india wanted to understand how many people may get into diabetics because obesity rate is increasing every month by 2% or 3% average in India. So, people can predict a lot of things. Clear? So, the predictions can be done with the help of a data science. But data science also needs a data, right? Data analytics applications also needs data. So, or business intelligence. So, where is the data getting stored? Data is stored in these applications, either Excel or RDBMS or data warehouse or Hadoop clear so data has to be stored then only you can you know give a data analytics or a data science so data science and data analytics needs data the data can be supplied from these two four places these four places from IT industry guys are the mind did you understand so business intelligence is nothing but it can deal with the data warehousing data. It can create a beautiful reports. And using these beautiful reports, you should be able to analyze the data. But all the data belongs to historical data. Clear? If we have a large amount of data, then we are going to be storing the Hadoop. Hadoop is going to store and process again to create a reports and everything. We use Power BI or we use any BI. And after that, we create a reports. After this, for the... Uh, you know, report creation, everything. Hadoop does not have reporting. Other things it can do. Uh, Hadoop cannot have reporting. For reporting purpose, again, we can implement Power BI along with Hadoop. We can create a beautiful reports and everything. Am I clear? So don't worry about all of them. So this is what is called, you know, overall understanding. So tomorrow we'll talk about what is SSIS, what is SSAS, what is SSRS and Power BI, what is reporting, what is data warehousing once again we will discuss and we will complete it clear so any questions if you have you're welcome